Hi guys, welcome to weekly technical forex forecast for the 22nd, 26th of May. My name is Andrew Olszanetsky, I'm a technical analyst at TrueFFX and traditionally we begin our forecast with the euro USD currency pair. Our uptrend for this instrument continued and after a, strong, uh, after a smooth uh, fall of the price, correction of the price, uh, uh, the uptrend resumed and now the price is trading near its local maximum also we need to highlight a new level of uh, support it's 1.1188 this level contains pretty large volume you can see it here and you see that a fixation of the price was above this level and further continuation of the growth so overall all factors are uh, for open in long positions and of course given this strong uptrend we should consider opening only long positions but uh, very often uh, after such a strong and sharp growth of the price uh, the pair shows correction downward correction so we need to get an additional signal that the price won't uh, correct and uh, will continue growing up so uh, the best scenario will be a test of this level of the level 1.1188 of the support and a strong rebound of the price on large volume from this level so it's a uh, it's very important it will tell us that bulls are still want um, are still wanting to push the price higher so in such situation we open long positions the plot should be set uh, below the level of support at the level 1.1177 so from this level the volumetric growth began and a potential the deal is around 70 80 pips so for the euro loan positions are still in priority our next instrument is pound uh, overall the price is still trading in the consolidation but you see that now it's testing the level of resistance also the higher boundary of the consolidation it's 1.3040 so uh, besides it it's very important to notice that this fall this strong fall of the price was totally absorbed so it means that bears do not have enough power to push the price lower and of course it's a strong bullish momentum if we take a look at our volumetric chart we can see that uh, uh, this level besides besides that um, it's a local uh, maximum it's a higher boundary of the consolidation it also contains a pretty large volume and after this volume the price showed a strong fall so uh, the breakout of this level will be a great signal for opening uh, long position so the scenario is next after the confident breakout of this level and a further fixation of the price above it that will protect us from the fake breakout we open long positions here a stop loss should be set below the breakout volumetric bar so it's very important that the breakout should be on increased volume and we wait for further growth of the price the potential of the deal is around 120 pips so for the pound long positions are also in priority our next instrument is yen we saw a strong fall of the price last week but then the price failed to continue falling and now is trading in the local consolidation below the level of resistance 111.70 111.90 this level is a cornerstone of trading the yen because it contains really large volume and you see that the price is trading a bit lower uh, this level also we need to highlight a presence of a strong uh, accumulation of volume in this um, in this consolidation in this range so that now we do not have a good scenario for trading the the yen we don't have a good um, situation for trading but given the uh, downtrend given the presence of the resistance we should consider opening short positions and uh, really after a confirmatory signal a strong confirmatory signal we can open short positions for this instrument so the best scenario will be a test of this level and then creation of huge volume here and rebound of the price down on really large volume so in such case we open short positions stop loss should be set 
above this level and we wait for further fall of the price a potential of the deal is around 120 pips so for the yen uh, sh uh, short positions should be in priority now our next instrument is a canadian dollar well our downtrend continued and you see that the price break uh, down the level of support 1.3579 on friday and continued falling so uh, also we need to add uh, the rise of uh, the oil price so it uh, supports the canadian dollar and of course of course it puts a negative effect on this currency pair so you see that all factors are four uh, opening short positions if we take a closer look to the volumetric chart especially to the daily volumetric chart you can see that uh, the price uh, ex exited has exited from the uh, strong consolidation uh, which contains really large volume so it's one more effect that confirms our scenario opening short positions for this instrument so we can enter the market after a smooth small correction of the price to obtain a better risk profit rate and of course a better entry point so we open short positions stop loss should be set here above this a bar above this uh, beginning because it was the beginning of the fall of the breakout fall and we wait for further um, fall of the price a potential of the deal is around 100 pips so for the canadian dollar also short positions are in priority our next instrument is australian dollar well we we see that the price is going up yes it's some kind of uh, um, up correction because uh, the price is trading in uh, correction but this correction is going up yes, smoothly but still going up also if we take a look at our volumetric chart we also need to uh, take a look at the daily volumetric chart because here we can see uh, the most important scene for the Australian dollar well you can see that the growth of the price was supported by really large volume and uh, of course it is a it is a great signal that more possible uh, the price will go up further so in such situation we need to consider opening long positions so after the breakout of this local maximum also it's uh, some kind of technical resistance uh, after the confident breakout we open long positions and wait for further growth of the price stop loss should be set below the breakout volumetric bar or the beginning of the breakout move and the potential of the deal is around 70 80 pips so for the australian dollar also trading by the trend so long positions should be in priority and our last instrument is gold the strong growth of the price was uh, stopped by a new level of resistance it's 1257.00 1260.20 and we saw a strong fall of the price uh, but as you can see from the chart uh, the pair couldn't continue its falling and now with the price is testing the level of resistance so we have a smooth uh, uh, growth of the price and the test of the resistance if we take a look at our volumetric chart you can see that uh, especially at our daily so once again we need to watch for uh, daily uh, volume chart volumetric chart you see that this level contains really really large volume and this volume stopped the growth of the price you can see it here so of course given the uptrend uh, long position should be in priority but we can enter the market only after the breakout of this level so it's very important uh, only after that so the move should be confident and on really large volume it's very very important uh, stop loss should be set below the breakout volumetric bar and a potential of the deal is more than 150 pips so uh, at least we will have one to two risk profit ratio so this deal is extremely profitable but we need to wait for an additional confirming signal uh, it's a breakout of this level on really large volume so for gold uh, sh uh, sh long positions should be in priority but of course only after the breakout of the resistance 
let's take a look at our uh, sentiment well uh, our three deals our three scenarios are confirmed it's a scenario for the euro for the pound and the yen you see that uh, our deals are totally confirmed for the australian dollar and gold you see that the sentiment is near 50 50 uh, but if uh, these instruments give us an additional confirmation confirm signal it is the breakout of uh, resistances so of course in such situation we can trade them and open long positions both um, for gold and australian dollar if we talk about uh, the canadian dollar unfortunately sentiment totally rejects our scenario so i advise you to be um, more careful trading the Canadian dollar. So overall, the best uh, instruments for trading are the euro, the pound, gold. Uh, also, uh, the Australian dollar and yen uh, also can be traded, but only after the appearance of additional signals. Uh, if we talk about the Canadian dollar, we need to be extra careful here. But still, I think that short positions are the more likely scenario for this instrument. So for today it's all. Hope this forecast will be useful for you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your attention. See you. Bye bye.